prove that this sequence negative 1 to the n is divergent. Intuitively, you probably know this. The sequence negative 1 to the n starts out at negative 1, then it goes to positive 1, then to negative 1, and to positive 1 again. It's just going to oscillate. It's just going to bounce back and forth between 1 and negative 1 forever. Of course, this is divergent. There is no limit. This never settles down. But how would you prove this? Well, one way to do it I like. I'm going to do it by contradiction. So I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume a limit does exist. So assume that L equals this limit, the limit as n goes to infinity of minus 1 to the n. What would this mean? What's the definition of this? Well, this means that, you know, for all epsilon greater than 0, there exists some n such that for all n after that n, the absolute value of negative 1 to the n minus its limit is less than epsilon, right? That's just the definition of sequence convergence, sequence converging to a limit l. So this is true for any epsilon. I'm going to take it to be a half. You know, this is true for every single epsilon. So for every little n after this capital N, the difference in absolute value between our sequence and its limit is going to be less than a half. Well, this is going to be true for every single little n after capital N. One of those little n's is going to be odd. What's negative 1 to an odd power? Well, it's negative 1. So negative 1 minus L has to be less than a half. And it's, since it's true for every single one after capital N, one of those is going to be even. Well, negative 1 to an even power is positive 1. So we have 1 minus L in absolute value is also less than a half. And here's the trick. Let's add these inequalities together. If I add up the right-hand sides, a half plus a half is 1. And if I add up the left-hand sides, I'd have the absolute value of minus 1 minus L plus the absolute value of 1 minus L this is supposed to be less than 1. And now here's the kicker. We're going to use the triangle inequality. You're used to using it the other way. And what I'm really using here, it's when you have a minus in between these. This works, you know, just as well as the regular triangle inequality, but it's going to work especially well for us right here. You're used to this being a plus, but it works just fine with a minus. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to say it's this first one minus the second one. And maybe you can see what's going to happen here. Just apply the triangle inequality in reverse here. I'm having negative 1 minus 1. That's going to be negative 2. And the minus L minus minus L is going to cancel. This is an absolute value. And so what we're getting is that 2 equals this is less than this is less than 1. In other words, <laughs> look at that. 2 is less than 1. I'm uh, not so sure about that. That looks like a contradiction to me. In other words, my assumption was wrong in that there is no limit for this thing and the sequence is divergent. If you enjoyed this video and you want more real analysis, make sure to click the link on the screen to watch the next video in the real analysis course.